you guys don't know me, I'm the guy who dressed up like a girl yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that would bring back something. Um, you might ask, why, why is Casey giving a speech during Anti-Bullying Week? Well, Mr. Ledo was looking for someone who was famous and well-known. Instead, he got me. Um, this week has been a great has been great for our school to step up to step us in the right direction for recognizing bullying is a problem in this world. What I am going to talk about is very is very hard for me, so but but it's the truth. And it needs to be known. Who here thinks that this school is perfect? Well, it's not. I, and I think we're kidding ourselves if we think it is. One of the reasons why this school isn't perfect is because of bullying. I know you've heard it a thousand times before, TV, radio stations, movies, all promoting that bullying is wrong. But this time it's different. You might ask why this is different. This time you're not listening to some celebrity or a sibling from someone who got bullied or a parent of a bullied kid. You're listening to a kid who has experienced bullying to the fullest degree. You may not have been bullied in your life, but I'm sure you've seen it happen. But did you do anything about it? Evil prevails when good men do nothing. That is a quote from Edmund Burke. In this case, evil re represents bullying. And the good men are us, like the Water Elite students. And so if you rewrite that quote, it would, it would read, bullying prevails if water elite students do nothing. And when you look at it like that, it sounds like that we, we need to do something about this. I was bullied pretty much my whole life in this school. It started in kindergarten and never really stopped. In seventh grade, I was invited to a, a Bible camp by my cousin. I loved it there. It was because everyone wanted to know me. Even though I had a great time, I was still depressed. And a few, and a few days after church camp, I tried to kill myself. I usually get the yeah right. When uh, yeah right look when people when I tell people this, and when I say almost, I mean gun loaded, bullet chambered, safety off. What stopped me was many mental images that I believe God sent to me to stop myself. One of, one of the images was of my friends from church camp crying around a newspaper that had the headline, Teen Commits Suicide. And another one was my mom and dad crying as they're being investigated and by the police and asking what happened. I did this when I was home alone with my autistic brother. So my parents never found out until December of 2012. When I had the when I had the feeling to take my own life again. This time I went to my mom and I told her how I was feeling and that it wasn't the first time. 
that I felt this way. Some of you are probably thinking, it doesn't matter, it doesn't affect me in any way, so why should I care? This is the whole reason why I joined the Leadership Council. Not to get out of class for trips, not to hang out with friends, but to change the school's attitude towards people who are different. To make a difference. That is how this week happened. My fellow leadership members and myself coordinated this week to bring bullying to an end in our school. Bullying isn't something that just happens. It's a disease. It's passed on from person to person. gets passed on when a person who gets bullied grows up and changes his own situation and makes others want to feel as bad as they did. Then they learn a behavior to pick on the weak people. So the cycle continues. We can't, we can stop the spread of bullying, the spread of this disease in our school. This is about making the, the victims of this disease feel loved and cherished by everyone around them. I wanted to introduce this problem to give those victims a voice. Can we prevent bullying? No. But we can do something about it if we see it happening. People sometimes ask, why someone would try to change something that is proven to be impossible, like world peace. It's because we can't make, we can't make it any better if we don't try. The Berlin Wall would still be standing today if people didn't try. We can stop bullying if we can stop bullying if we see it happening. There are, several, there are several ideas that the Leadership Council has come up with to try and eliminate bullying. This is going to take the efforts of the Leadership Council, but not only them. It'll, it will need the support of all the students as well. My ideas, along with yours, can make a difference if we, as a group, decide to do something instead of nothing. Gandhi once said that, um, Gandhi once said, be the change you wish to see in the world. That is what I want to be. To start the winds of, of change in this school, so other schools want to model their school after us. I want everyone to think this is our school, so this must be our problem. So let's take action. When I got picked on and bullied, there were people who saw it, turned away, and just walked the other way and did nothing. How would that make you feel? Wouldn't you want someone to stand up for you if it were you? I want to bring the people in the school closer together and be more like a family rather than a society that judges, that, that picks on and judges other people for what they like and what they like to do. Those actions separate schools. When the, to fix the problem, we need to band together. Don't feel sorry for me now. I'm fine. What's done is done. What I want is for us as a group to 
prevent this from happening to another kid. I have very few friends because, of, because this affected me emotionally as well as socially. I no longer know how to be social because I fear to be judged by someone. And I want to make sure to, that we prevent this from happening to anyone else. Even if we change the world just for one kid, it is one less kid that has to deal with this awful disease. We will only be in school for a short portion of our lives, but we learn here, but what we learn here will transfer to the real world and make it a better place. Wouldn't it be nice to turn on the television and hear something good instead of bad? It may sound crazy, but one act of kindness could start a chain reaction. This, this will be like a medicine that heals the disease. If the treatment does not start, it will spread like cancer through our school. Let's start the treatment today to make a change for the future of our school, our, our town, our state, and our society. Like when E.T. was here, he challenged us to be phenomenal. This is my chance, no, this is our chance to change the world and do something truly phenomenal. Thank you.